Now one might ask that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to be worshipped, why did he create things that he said abstain from? That's a question. He should have rather just not made those things. You have pork, for example. Allah tells us, do not consume pork, do not consume alcohol. Why did he make it in the first place? That's a question. And it's not a bad question, it's a good question. But the answer of it is obviously not with everybody. Only some will be able to explain. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to be worshipped. That's the reason he created myself and yourselves and all creatures. I have created mankind and jinn kind solely for one purpose, to worship me. The worship of Allah is divided into two. To engage in the commands or to fulfill the commands and to abstain from prohibitions. A person's spirituality is developed in a different way when they engage in good deeds. They become mashallah pious and they have spirituality and so on. But there is a different aspect of an individual's spirituality that is enhanced when they abstain from prohibitions. So that's why in order to have the complete spiritual upliftment of an individual, he needs to engage in two things. One is to do that which is commanded and the other is to abstain from that which is prohibited. So this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a balance. So he has made, he has issued commands to test us. Will we do them? Then he has issued prohibitions to test us. Will we abstain for his sake? Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. That is the complete system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for that reason, he has alcohol, he has gambling, he has, for example, created the pig and what have you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. May he make us from those who can abstain.